news this morning out of East Central Fresno. At least 10 people were shot at a backyard party in that area last night. Now, four of the victims have died. Six others are being treated in the hospital. At this hour, the investigation is still very active as the search is underway for a gunman and a motive. Action News reporter Shayla Gerard and live at the scene where police have been all night interviewing witnesses and looking for clues. Shayla? Yes, Amanda, police tell us they're actually using mass casualty protocol for this shooting. A very active scene out here this morning. Still a lot of unanswered questions. I want to show you what we're seeing out here behind me. This is right off of Lamona. You can see investigators out here still on the scene. What you can't tell, actually, on my left-hand side, this whole area is taped off. The street, Lamona, is so packed with crews, investigators, police cars. It's so congested that no traffic can get through. Over here, you can see this is the area in question. This is the hall where those shots rang out last night. Night. Police are out here trying to make sense of everything that happened. Now, here's what we do know so far. Police responded to reports of a shooting on Lamona Avenue near Caesar. This was just before 8 last night. They say around 45 people were at the house watching a football game. That's when the suspect came into the backyard and opened fire on 10 people. The other 35 people inside the home, several of them children, were not hurt. Obviously, this is a fluid situation. Uh, we have multiple investigators here right now, so we're going to be collecting the evidence. Uh, thank God that no kids were hurt because there are several kids and females that are in attendance at this party. So right now, all 10 of the victims, deceased or not, uh, we're all Asian males between that 25, 35 range. Five of the victims are being treated at the Community Regional Medical Center in downtown Fresno. Another victim is at St. Agnes Medical Center. We know two victims are in critical condition this morning. Another is in critical but stable condition. Now, police have not released a description of the suspect or a motive. That suspect is still at large this morning. We know investigators are on the scene. Another crew is on the way from San Francisco. Of course, this is a developing situation. You can see the whole road is closed. So they are asking folks to avoid the area. We'll keep you updated on on all of this on Action News AM Live and uh, East Central Fresno, Shayla Gerard in Action News AM Live. Shayla, thank you. And for more than the deadly shooting in East Central Fresno, just log on to our website, abc30.com, and our mobile app. We'll have more of the story as it develops.